A company called Rebrassum contacted me and asked if I would like to try out one of their leather goods for free in exchange for an honest review. And I thought, oh, so I checked out the website to make sure it was something, one, that I am used to reviewing, and two, something that my audience and the planner community uh, would be interested in. And I thought that this was definitely something um, that you guys would like. So I asked for the filled notes sized, which is what I received. So this is the filled notes leather cover and it holds inserts or notebooks that are in the size of 3.5 by 5.5 and I do have one that I will put in here and show you how it looks. So this is supposed to be in the crazy horse leather and it's a beautiful leather. The first thing I noticed when I opened it and I did open it because I wanted to make sure to try it out before I talked about it a little bit it has this beautiful leather smell. It's not like that really gross leather that you have to like air out for a while because of either the chemicals or you know the dyes that they use on the leather. It's really really nice so you can take a nice sniff and be happy about this leather. It does come in two colors. This is the coffee and it also comes in brown which is a little bit lighter than this and um, it looks like it scuffs up pretty well. Let's, shall we, I mean, I'll mark it on the inside because right now it's it's pretty nice. There's a few little dings and marks that happen naturally in the day that I've had this and been using it. But it's a very nice, it's a very smooth. It almost feels like there's some kind of like um, wax coating on it, but I don't think that it says so in the description. Let me look and see what it does say. It says that the filled notes leather cover is entirely handmade from high quality crazy horse leather that has a rustic look, lovely leather smell, and feels lovely, which is true. It does say on the website that they make all their leather goods by hand from start to finish. So unlike um, the stitching that you'll see sometimes on traveler's notebooks where you get that like the foot from the sewing machine because they put it through the machine and you get that like trail around the edging, you do not get that here. You guys know that I am not a fan of contrast stitching, but most of the contrast stitching that I end up receiving um, in the past with leather goods, it's like stark, brilliant, bright white <laughs> against very, very dark leather, whereas this is brown on brown, so it's not that terrible. I mean, I don't, I'm not angry about that at all. Now, the stitching doesn't go all the way around. It just goes where it needs to as far as um, holding the pockets um, on the interior. So that's an interesting little detail. Here's what it says about stitching. Entirely sewn by hand with heavy wax thread, much stronger than machine stitching. Now they pride themselves on the website as having high quality, genuine leather products. And this particular cover is 6.2 by 4.2 and is $21.99, which I didn't think was terrible for the quality of leather this is. So let's talk a little bit about the thickness. So uh, most of us are used to the fact that when there are pockets, there's going to be a lot of thickness on the side. It's not that bad at all. So on to the right side, you have two pieces of leather. On the left side, you have three. At least halfway down, you have three pieces of leather. And I don't think it's too thick at all. It's still able to keep it very sleek and nice. It has a nice thickness to it in the way that it's not going to be like floppy. Okay, it's definitely going to keep its structure and it's not so thick that you're going to have to train it around your insert or your notebook or your pen or anything like that. It stays perfectly closed and then it opens completely flat, which is really nice. And so whether they have like pressed it that way or what have you, it's ready to go, which makes me happy. There's no like really breaking in that you have to do. The other thing I really like about the weight of this, um, when you have inserts in here and when I put them in here, I will show you, uh, it's really nice because it's not like you need to write on a surface. It kind of has its own structure that you can stand outside, you know, or in a line and go ahead and use this and be perfectly fine writing without having to worry about, oh, it's too floppy, which I really appreciate because when I saw this and how rustic it kind of looks, I thought, oh my gosh, this would be great to take hiking because I did get a hiking partner and I'm super excited about it. <laughs> and I thought this would be really, really great to take with me hiking with just like one notebook and a pen. 
So on the inside, we have two interior pockets here and one here, and they're pretty wide. So that's really nice. Sometimes you get really like tight, stiff, or thick leather, and you can't really, like, they're not functioning. But these ones, that is not the case. You do have a card pocket here and a pen loop. Now, we're all <laughs> not always fans of the pen loops because it can drive us crazy. Now, this is interesting because unlike a traveler's notebook where the pen loop is usually on the outside, this one's on the inside. So I'm not sure how everyone's going to feel about that. But the interesting thing is it's all one piece. So like I mentioned, the left side has three pieces of leather. It has this outer piece, it has this interior pocket, and then it has the third one, which is the card holder. So this second piece is actually one piece. Um, and they just cut the pen loop a little bit longer like that, and then they fold it over and sew it. So this is not its own piece sewn onto the second part, because that would make it very like lumpy and a hot mess, in my opinion. So this is really a nice detail for sure. Okay, so let me show you what it looks like when you put um, cards in here. So I just have my Safeway in my Red Lobster gift card. That way I don't have to worry about <laughs> covering up numbers. So you have a really nice fit. It's pretty snug in there. It's, it's not going to fall out, which is very nice. And then you can fit a second card in here. So for those who like to carry their license and their debit card, you have two in there. Not going to fall out really nice and snug. I appreciate that. Still closes nicely. Loving it. For the pen loop, okay, I have a Uniball Signo. This is the pen. This is usually my go-to pen, at least for the last few months. I love this pen so much. The issue we have a lot of times with pen loops is that they're not big enough or because a lot of pens are coming with a grip, like this one has a very slim grip. It's not it's not too bad. Sometimes they tend to get stuck. So let's see how this works in here. Ooh, that was actually kind of like butter. So you can take this in and out very easily. No issues there. Close it with a pen and that is how it looks. Very nice. Okay, so According to the website, I believe that they're saying that this pocket over here to the left is for cash, which makes total sense. Of course, the right side is going to be for your notebook. So I just have a filled notes notebook. I'm trying to see if they have measurements on here for you. Well, just know that it's like 3.5 by 5.5 at the very at the very most. Okay, slide this baby in here. No problems there. It's not hard or difficult. Straighten it out. And that is how it looks with an insert or a notebook, depending on what world you're coming from. Very nice. And then we're just going to close it up and see how this pen reacts. So it closes. I mean, it touches definitely. That's how it looks. So um, you can see here something that's really important to me is that this pen is not bending my notebook awkwardly or anything like that because that would be an issue for me. But I think if I were to turn this like that a little bit more, it fits even nicer in there. What do you guys think? Yep. Not bending the insert or the notebook rather at all in there. So that's really nice. Oh, I like that. I don't, of course, have any cash near me. <laughs> I try never to carry cash because then I spend it, but you know, you can definitely put, this is a journaling card back here. Yep. And it feels like you can push it all the way back to almost where the stitching is. So that's really nice. No problems there. I like that so much. On their website, they talk about how this is a filled notes uh, cover, but you can use it as a passport cover if you wanted to for your actual passport or even for like a passport sized insert, which I do have one, I believe, near me. So this is just like a standard passport sized insert. So there's that. So whether you like passport or you like filled notes, this would fit in here just fine. 
and that's how that one would look. So now we're going to move on to the portion where there's going to be a lot of you out there, including myself, that are wondering, hmm, could I turn this into a traveler's notebook if I wanted to? This company does sell traveler's notebooks, but, you know, we always try to turn things into something they're not meant to be or to have hacks. So <laughs> let me give you my thoughts and feelings on that. This is a thick enough leather that if you wanted to, you could puncture a hole here just to have a closure, even if you didn't want to make it a traveler's notebook with strings on the inside, but if you wanted a closure for it, you could certainly do that. Because of the weight, which is not like incredibly heavy, but it keeps it pretty closed. I don't think you'd have any issues. Again, this is filled notes size, so it's gonna fit in pretty much any purse that you want. Um, a lot of times, like for me, um, when I'm hiking, I'm gonna be using like a smaller backpack. I have an outer zipper pocket, for something like this so that I have an easy access and I don't have to go digging through my backpack for it. A lot of purses tend to have like a smaller zipper pouch that this would probably fit in perfectly fine um, to keep separately. Now how would I use this if I wasn't hiking? I'd probably keep one notebook in here just for my personal writing or if I wanted to take notes. Also if I wanted to go into a grocery store. A lot of the time, our purses are extremely heavy, especially since it's summertime, maybe not even a grocery store. If you wanted to go into a mall and, you know, they don't have the push carts like they do when you go into a grocery store, you don't want to have to carry your whole purse. If you're coming from the Traveler's Notebook world, which I know a lot of you out there um, definitely are, you know that... Our traveler's notebooks, especially if you're carrying a standard size, can get very heavy and you don't want to be weighed down by that. It's nice that you can put a card in here, some cash, and carry your grocery list in here and go into a store and then come back out and not have to take your entire purse with you. So that I totally appreciate. Um, if you wanted to put holes in the top here and here, you certainly could do so. I think the pen loop would become an issue if you decided to do that. If you wanted to cut it off, you certainly could. I know that Sarah Martinez, um, she's had a video recently on how she cut off her pen loop from a traveler's notebook um, that was very, it was a good tutorial. So that's something you could certainly do. But for right now, I really like that the pen loop is on the inside. It's not sticking out like a traveler's notebook driving me insane. Um, but that's only if you decide to keep one insert in here. What if you decided to keep more than that? So for those of you <laughs> who are going to try, because you know that we are, um, let me show you how that would work. First of all, because there is a pen loop on the inside, I think it would be kind of awkward to try to slip a notebook onto the left side. But that's not going to stop your girl from trying. So let's see how it looks over here. Now again, remember, this is not what this is meant for. It's a cover, not a traveler's notebook, but I wanna see if I can fit more than one in here because sometimes I tend to have to um, separate things by notebooks. So this is a little bit more of a snug fit on this side than it was trying to put it in over on the right. And again, it's not meant to be <laughs> over here. Some people might like to put both covers, tuck them into either side, which I mean, you certainly can do. But again, that pen loop might become an issue. So that's a little bit too far. There we go. So that is how it looks. I don't care for the way that looks. It's awkward. I think if you were trying to write, that pen loop would be an issue. You could put a writing board, especially if you have one from your passport size uh, to keep this, uh, well not keep it, to give this more of a flat surface to write on, but just like be aware. You'd also have to write over this a little bit thicker um, pocket, including your cards. So that's also something to be aware of, but I thought I would show you because some of you are gonna wonder. Okay, so let me show you how personally, if I wanted to put two notebooks in here, I would do it. I would slip this into the right side the way it's supposed to go. Note there's also plenty of space off to the side here. It doesn't even reach the stitching. So there's plenty of space that your notebook's not gonna hang out, which is really nice. And then I would take um, a rubber band or an elastic, whatever you have on hand, and I would piggyback two inserts together by finding the center of both books. Or you can just use the cover if you want to. I'm just gonna find the center. Piggybacking them like this, and then slipping the rubber band over in case you're not familiar with how a traveler's notebooks and their piggybacking works. 
put it down like that and then you got two notebooks or inserts inside your little full notes cover just like that and the great thing is if they flop around they're still attached so they're not going to fall out or anything like that which is really great and then I will put the pen back in there to show you how it looks with two and again I'm going to turn this little um, clip off to the side because I think it fits nicer in that way and there it is it does stick up a little bit more with two notebooks in there but again that's not the way you're supposed to use it it's just the way I choose to use it so let me push it down a little bit no I think I like it this way It still stays closed on its own. It pops up a little bit, not too much. Um, again, if you wanted to put a hole in the center to close this, you could. If you didn't want to puncture a hole because you're scared, you've never done anything like that with your leather before, you can just take um, an elastic from a traveler's notebook and size it and just slip it on and off if you wanted to. But I still think I would leave it just like this. I sometimes don't care for the elastic on a traveler's notebook because it's one more thing I have to remove and, and figure out when I can just flop it open and start writing. So um, I appreciate not having a closure sometimes. And I guess if you wanted to be crazy and you wanted to add a third one in there, you certainly could do so. Now, as far as people who have multi-barrel pens, which I do, I mean, the thickness is going to be a lot different. It's certainly not going to house this. Um, this also has a grip on it, so that's just not going to happen. But this one does have a clamp on it, so you could just go ahead and just clip it, rather, if you wanted to. Now, with two inserts, it might not look as nice but it still works it's gonna stick out the top a smidge but I don't really have a problem with that do you guys I mean if you're just gonna throw this in your backpack or your purse I really don't have a problem with that it still stays closed it's it's up a little bit but again if you decide on a closure that won't be an issue I still don't think it's a problem especially like I mentioned I'm gonna keep it in my front backpack pocket the smaller pocket um, in its own place so it's not gonna be an issue but there you go. It's definitely in there. No overhang. Show you the bottom. So there is that. Now let me show you what it looks like if you only have the one. Because I'm sure that'll make a little bit of a difference. Not too much. I prefer two books in there. <laughs> but that's just who I am. So there you go. Now the last thing I wanted to mention is my boyfriend has never liked any of my traveler's notebooks. I mean, he's cool with um, the more rustic looking ones, but uh, he tends to think that they're either too big or, you know, there's it's just something about them that he doesn't care for. So I wanted to show him this because I was all excited and I didn't expect him to have a super different reaction, right? But I showed him, he's like, no, that's really cool. And I said, really? I said, would you care for something like this? And he was like, yeah, I'd carry something like that, which was shocking to me because my boyfriend's from Brooklyn, right? And he's not a writer. Occasionally he writes down ideas and things for making beats because he does a lot of, um, producing and things like that with his nephew and so sometimes he needs like a little bit of a notebook I think he really liked the idea that there was like a card slot here for him to put his debit card if he wanted to and this is something he could keep like in his car and just write things down and I was totally shocked I couldn't believe that he liked it and he actually liked that the pen loop was on the inside so it wasn't like sticking out and that there was no um string around it it kind of reminds me like those old-fashioned billfolds I don't know but it was really cool and I couldn't believe that we both found something we both liked. So I'm thinking next month is our birthday, right? We usually have a birthday week because our birthdays are only a couple days apart that I might end up getting Kim one. He can't have this one because it's mine. <laughs> but I might buy it in the brown and if I like the brown more than I do the coffee, um, maybe I'll let him have this one. I don't know. But it's really great and I love it. But I think this is a great little product and I think the pricing is pretty decent for this quality and this thickness of leather. I mean... Oh, and the smell is great. It makes me happy. They do say they personalize their products. I'm not sure if it's every product. We do know that as products get smaller, it's harder to emboss on them. But they say that um, they get embossed on the inside on this pocket. Um, 
but you can ask to get it on the outside if you want to. You just make a note when you purchase whatever product you're getting. So know that it's like a default that they always do it on the inside, which I think is kind of cool also. Like I like that it's on the outside, but maybe if you don't want people to know your name or who you are, <laughs> I mean, that sounds creepy, but maybe you just want it on the inside. I just think that's kind of cool and an interesting thing I've, I haven't seen any other leather company do. So there is that. Um, so have you guys purchased this product before? Um, if you have, let us know down below what you thought about it, how it's held up, how it's aged. I think this is going to age well over time. Let me scratch it for you. Okay, so there is a light scratch there. Let me see if it kind of... So it doesn't really rub out all that well. I'm sure you could, well, yeah. The scratch is still there, but it does like kind of buff out the color. So it doesn't look as scratched. So if you're someone who likes a scratched up uh, leather, this is gonna scratch up nicely. And if you don't, you could probably buff it out here and there, or add some kind of a salve to get rid of it if it's not something you're a fan of. So either way, I think it works. It has a really nice, simple layout that I really appreciate. It's very thoughtful, especially the pen loop on the inside. I didn't know how I was gonna feel about it, but I really do like that. It's not going to get caught on anything if you decide to put it in a purse full of a lot of other things. And it's very lightweight, so you can carry it wherever you want. And again, like I mentioned, if you're a one notebook kind of a person, it works. That's the way it's meant to work. If you're a two notebook kind of a person, you can certainly do that also. Um, sometimes people can just tuck this behind the other one. If you don't have an elastic, um, it's not going to be as great, but it's something you can certainly do like that they're not going to fall out and it's still going to work in there all right so don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope this was helpful thanks for watching and i'll talk to you soon bye